In this video, I'll be showing you how you can customize something like this awesome transitioning thumbnails using Photoshop. It is very simple and much more easier. So let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this is how the application looks. It is very user friendly and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now, the first thing you have to do in Photoshop is to go to the file and create a new document. So you go to file and you go to new. Now you can choose to name your uh, your document here. So I can choose to name this thumbnails. Now make sure that this side is set to pixels and then you set the width 1280 by 720. That is the standard YouTube thumbnail size. Then leave the resolution at 300. When you are done, you click OK. Now the first thumbnail that I'm going to create is a gaming thumbnail and I hope um, the gamers will uh, benefit from this one. So these are the resources that I'll be using and this is a email, an image that I downloaded from Google so you can download that image. So I'll just drag and drop the image onto my thumbnail. This particular thing here means that the image can't be edited so you right click on that and you go to rasterize here now you make sure that the whole thing has filled the document so you press ctrl t and you scale it up a bit so now the whole thing has filled my document now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to hold ctrl plus shift then L and it will auto level my image. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is to go to the layer adjustment here. Uh, yeah, create new field adjustment or layer. So you you left click on that and you can choose solid color gradients and other stuff from here. But in this particular tutorial, I'm going to make use of my gradient map but then i can choose to also add some saturation to it since this looks a, a bit pink so i add some saturation to make it more cinematic and very nice so you can turn this one off and you see the difference now go back to the layer adjustment and select gradient map the gradient map it has a lot of gradient maps you can click here and you find a lot over here so you can play around with the one you want and then you can use it so i want to use this particular one here this one so i select that and i'll click ok now go to the blending mode and then you can set this one to soft light and you can decrease it out a bit if he is too uh if this thing looks too dark for you you can decrease it out a bit all right so i think 50 percent will do for me now we are going to do the real magic right away so come to the toolbox here and select the rectangle to go to the side and hold the left click and just drag anywhere you want like this and it will create a very nice um, rectangle for you you can double click here to change the color to anyhow you want it anyhow you can change the color a very nice over here so i decided to choose black for this particular tutorial so when you're done you click ok now go to the opacity make sure the rectangle layer is selected and then decrease the side and uh, opacity sorry the opacity a little bit like this so i think 47 so you will have some small shadow and the background this image will still be appearing so 
we we go ahead and then we create the text over here so you select the text too and then you type anyway so you can change the color here you can change the font type here and the font type that i'm using is Bebas new you can download it in the description below so when everything is set you just have to make sure this one is set to the left alignment and then you go ahead to type anything that you want to type so let's say i type thumbnail tutorial sorry tutorial now you can select the whole thing and change the color to white since the background of the rectangle is black so you press ctrl t and then you can scale it out till you want it so you position it very nicely and then exactly like this one so i'll go ahead and then add more to it so maybe um, thumbnail tutorial um, using photoshop all right so something like this and the spacing here is too much for me so i'll just click on this thing and then i will drag it back to make the space a little bit closer so i think here we do and then i will just right click on it and then i will clear this thing off so a thumbnail tutorial using photoshop and then i will right click on this test tool and go to blending mode on the blending mode you can add a lot of stuff to this one you can add this stroke here and you can you can change the color from here so you can do something like this and then you can add inner glow inner shadows and stuff but i i decided to choose the drop shadow here to make our things very simple so when you are done you click ok and then maybe you want to add your name or something like that so you, i decided to draw another small rectangle here and i'll change it to white just like i showed you how to do the back uh, the rectangle too so maybe you type here again with then your name with name here so when you are done you position it very nicely and then you make a duplicate of this rectangle by pressing ctrl j and you can sorry you can just bring it here somewhere here and i think this is fine for me so you make the positions very well you are in control of your machine so you can do better with this one so i think this is a very simple gaming thumbnail that is very catchy the colors are very blending and then everything is set so you can use this for your gaming tutorials and it will be very fine for you so number two on my list i'm going to talk about a very general thumbnail tutorial you can use this for your vlogging and then any anything so uh, in my case since i'm i'm a technology channel i'm going to make use of something like a technology stuff so i have this picture from pixels right over here and then i will drag and drop into my photoshop i will just scale it to fill the size and i will click ok now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on it and i will rasterize the layer now i'm going to press ctrl shift and l to make it look more denser like this one so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to the um, create new fill adjustments and then i'm going to select gradients now the gradients i'm going to pick something like this one here let me choose something like this or perhaps this one and you can change the colors too if you don't want to so maybe i want the colors to be like this anyhow you want it so let me let me choose this one now set this one to radial 
and then you can scale it up a bit like this and then click on reverse when you are done go to the blend mode and set it to soft light so you have something very creative over here and since it is very light i think it is it's very light so i'll make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j and it will be a bit denser so instead of my picture right over here you can replace it with any other picture of yours and it will look very nice now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to make use of this rectangle tool over here i'll select and then i'll draw something here like this now i'll change the color to black as usual and then i'll decrease the opacity to about 58 or let me say 50 percent let me let me make it 50 percent all right now press ctrl a to select the entire layer the rectangle layer and then come here and add, align this one here and then you click on this one too so we have our rectangle in the middle of the whole document so you press ctrl d when you are done now we are going to add our test to this this is a very quick one and you can do it very nicely so i'm using the bebas news tell and then i'm going to type in something like thumbnail tutorial then using photoshop all right so when you are done you can increase the size that anyhow you want it and then you can split this to and still increase the size but since we want this to occupy more space um, i'm going to select the whole thing and i'm going to um, center align it all right so when you are done you can press ctrl a and then you send it to the center now a cool trick about this thing is that you can select this whole thing and go to the color here and you can change it to any color that you feel it better for you so you can change it to a color like this pure um, yellow then you can come down a bit so i think here we do for me i want to add some little effect to it so i'm going to the blend mode and then i i can add gradients or something like that yeah the gradients you can change it in here so something like this and then you can add shadow to it to make it look beautiful anyhow you want it so that's it that's how to create a very simple one over there too and i i hope that one too will help you out so the next thing that i'm going to talk about is pretty much simple and then i have these pictures right over here i think i'm going to make use of this one here i like this one so i will just drag and drop it into my photoshop and then i will i will leave or i don't want some places to come so i'll just yeah so i'll go and rasterize it and this one i'm going to press ctrl u to add some saturation to it so i'll add a little saturation to it to make, to make the picture very nice here so after this i'm going to make a very simple and a quick one here i'll select the rectangle too and then i'm going to draw a, a rectangle over here and i will change the color to maybe black and then i will decrease the opacity to make their legs show so i will press ctrl a and i will center it in the middle and then i'll press ctrl d to deselect it now i'm going to select the, the test tool here and then i will start to type so this is pretty much like a maybe a back to school outfits suggestions yeah something like that so you can create you can type in something like back to school back to school outfits suggestion and yeah, so then i'll select it all and i'll 
I'll change the, the color to white. Now press Ctrl T to scale it and then you can position it. In, this is very simple. So if the person looks at this, uh, simply tells him or her that it is a back to school outfit. Suggest and the picture here actually modifies the uh, the thumbnail and it makes it very nice. So you can also change the color just like I've shown in previous tutorials. So you can change the color anyhow you want it. So let's leave it white like this one. Now the last thing that I'm talking about here is pretty much like uh, this one is for the makeup and then the vloggers and stuff so you can use this one if you are a vlogger or you are uh, a makeup artist or something like that so I have this picture right over here from um, Deviant stock I think so yeah so you, I will position my or I'll place my image over here sorry and then I'm going to select the crop to that is C so I'm going to crop this picture right over here and I'll crop it here and then I'll crop it out here so you can replace this with your image and then you press crop so double click on this background image to make it editable and you can send it to your thumbnail size so you press ctrl T scale it down and then you can scale it to the size you want so i will position it right over here and then i'll position so you you take your time to position yourself very well now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a, a rectangle over here so i'll select the rectangle too and i'll create a very simple rectangle over here and i'll change the color to um, let's see. I like I like this one this color. Yeah Okay, so this color looks nice Now here is very critical if for instance you have no idea in Photoshop So the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the image and I'll select rasterize or you can convert it to smart objects anyhow so here i'm going to select my you can choose the pen to p on the keyboard and you can choose any of this uh, the market polygonal to uh, laxa to yeah any any one of them so let's try with the polygonal tool so you click here and then you bring it out about this area somewhere like this and then you bring it here and then you can join this together and you hit delete on your keyboard and it will delete it very nicely so you press ctrl G to deselect it now I'm going to make I'm going to scale this out a bit so I'll press ctrl T and I'll scale it out a bit I want my model under this thing so I'll I'll push it up and bring it front like this one something like this and then I'll push my model right over here so you place the model with your own uh, image now we are going to type the, the title of our thumbnail so something like uh, thumbnail sorry sorry uh, go back make sure the rectangle to is selected the layer is selected and then you type in um, the thumbnail tutorial using photoshop all right so i think this one we are going to need a left alignment so you, you scale this one up a bit so you replace this one with your own uh, title and then the easiest one that i'm going to do is i'm going to import my youtube PNG file and then I'll place it somewhere here now I'm going to press oh, sorry we have to rasterize this one here 
and then I'm going to press Control Shift then L to make it auto level. Now I'm going to um, press Control M to select the curves, and then I will choose to decrease it down. I want the blacks to come. So with the reds, I'm going to decrease it down a bit like this, and then I will press OK with this one. So when you are done, you can then add something here like the person who did the tutorial. So you add something like with new sent key button. So if it is your own makeup tutorial, after stating the title of your makeup tutorial, then you add your name here. And I think this looks very simple and very very simple to do so that's it that's all for now guys i hope these tutorials at least you learn something from it and i hope you come back to learn something new in the world of photoshop so my name is innocent and it, this is innocent channel remember if you've not subscribed you are losing something important so you subscribe to my channel for the latest update on photoshop so till the next video take care bye